Babalik na naman ako. Welcome, welcome po sa aking mungunting channel. Yan, kung may narinig ba kayo yung TV yun, guys, nanonood si Sofia at saka si um, Cha. Okay, um, yun. Nakita nyo naman sa title, di nakita nyo naman sa title below, nagagawa tayo na very basic black forest cake. I know, pag narinig nyo yung black forest cake at Okay, iniisip pa lang na gawin yun. Feeling nyo ang dami-dami na na dapat yung gawin. Okay, but hindi naman actually. So, this is a very basic. Ito yung alam kong black forest cake. Alam ko maraming version ng black forest cake. But this is my own version. Hindi ko siya ginaya sa iba. Hindi ko siya kinapis sa um, YouTube or anything. This is my really own version of black forest cake. A very basic black forest cake. Okay, so ipapakita ko lang sa inyo yung ingredients, okay? But before that, kung bago pa lang po kayo sa aking channel, again, this is my my Vidal. Okay, at kung hindi pa po kayo nakasubscribe and you find this channel helpful and nakakatuwa siya mo na, good vibes, please do push that red button and do subscribe at i-press nyo na rin yung bell para ma-notify kayo sa mga new videos ko. At syempre, kung nagbabalik kayo, okay, para tunghaya na ang mga new videos ko sa aking channel. Well, this is for you guys. Okay, thank you, thank you dahil um, hindi kayo nagsawang sumubaybay sa aking channel. Okay, wala nang patumpik-tumpik pa. Pakita ko na sa inyo yung ingredients. Okay, so sa mga ingredients natin, kailangan natin ng milk, kailangan natin ng cream. Later, kailangan natin ng berries on top. We need um, dark chocolate on top. I have a cocoa powder here. Actually, nilagay ko siya sa container na ice cream. Have cocoa powder here. I have baking powder. Baking soda. Salt. And vanilla. Meron akong jam, raspberry jam. Yung una, pwede din yung, um, ano ba yun? Um, yung isa, blueberry jam. Nung last time yun ang nilagay ko, okay lang din siya. Um, yung jam kasi medyo maasim-asim siya, besh. And nagko-complement siya sa sweetness at saka creaminess ng cream. We will use oil. We will use um, coffee. And may water yung coffee, guys. Sitimplahin natin. And I have flour here. And I have sugar, sugar, this one is sugar, and egg. And sa mga utensils naman na gagamitin natin, so kailangan natin ng dalawang um, containers. Okay, ilagay natin yung wet ingredients, dry ingredients. We need sifter for the flour and cocoa powder and sugar para masift natin. So kailangan natin ng egg, beaten egg. And kumuha lang ako ng extra na lalag lagayan. Okay, just in case. Okay, and then peeler. Bakit? Uh, makikita nyo siya later um, pag mag um, de-decorate na tayo ng black forest cake. So, para sa chocolate yan. I have a mixed beater here. Meron din tayong um, um, measuring spoons, measuring cups, and for our liquid measurement. Meron tayong two tins of um, cake tins. Yung maninipis lang. And, ibibake natin yung cake dito. So, magiging two cakes siya. And then, i-half natin siya sa apat. So, two, um, i-half natin to and i-half natin. So, magkakaroon tayo ng four slices. And, um, kailangan din natin ng bitter later for our cream. Um, yun yung magiging um, icing ng ating cake later. And, ituturo ko rin sa inyo yon Nakalimutan ko lang guys, okay? Nakalimutan natin, kuha tayo, is the condensed milk. So, meron akong condensed here, but, kalahati lang yung gagamitin natin dahil I don't like too sweet. May na-open actually dito. There you go. Nagagamitin natin. Okay, let's start the process. Okay guys, so let's prepare. Okay. So, first and foremost, I will prepare our, okay, um, dry ingredients, which is, um, imimix natin all together at isi-sift din natin siya. So, nandito na yung sifter ko, guys. Okay? So, I need one and a half cup of flour. So, kung sakali mag-aas kayo ng ingredients, guys, ilalagay ko yung ingredients, actually, 
down below sa description box and pwedeng pwede nyo siyang um, okay, kopyahin. Why not? ba? Diba? So, one and a half cup and then another half cup. This base of um, chocolate cake, it's gonna be sweet kasi yung um, yung ating yung ating icing it's not gonna be sweet it's gonna be rich and creamy guys so so two cups of sugar then wala na ako actually sugar Kuha lang ako ng sugar kung saan kayo nakatungtong. Okay. There you go. So, I have two cups. Balik ko kayo. So, I have... Okay, and then three-fourth cup. So, tatlong one-fourth cup. Okay, tatlong one-fourth cup or three-fourth cups of... Um, cocoa powder. And this time, siguro, mas magandang isip ko na lumps mga besh. So, why? Sip nyo lang siya kung may sifter kayo. And, um, yun lang. And then, makikita nyo may mga bubu din kasi yung sugar. So, medyo hindi maganda. And, haluin na natin siya. Kasi na-sip na din natin siya. There you go. Okay. So, ilagay na din natin yung ibang ingredients natin, guys. So, I need same amount of baking soda and baking powder. So, same amount lang siya, guys. So, that is one and a half. Okay? Teaspoon of same amount baking soda and baking powder. So, that one is baking soda. So, so that is the baking powder. And only half teaspoon of salt. Mix lang natin siya together with the rest of the dry ingredients. Ingredients natin, pagkahalu-haluin natin. But before, i-fill natin to ng one cup. So, pinil ko na siya ng one, pinil ko na siya ng one cup water. And then, titimplahin natin dito yung ating coffee. So, 2 teaspoon. Base sa timpla nyo. But, medyo gusto ko matapang yung kape ko. Kasi, magti-taste yun sa cake ninyo. And, that, para sa akin, that makes it black forest. Kasi, yung black taste niya sa cake. And then, another one cup of milk. So, fill ko lang din to. There you go. So, that's one cup already. Haluin natin yung eggs. So, crack lang natin yung eggs. Okay, nandito na yung egg. Kailangan lang natin siyang i-beat. Nandito na yung coffee and milk mixture natin. Let's go on our 
half cup oil half cup of oil I mix natin sa egg and we'll mix everything together So, ilagay ko na lang siya sa malaki kasi medyo nahihirapan na ako eh. Yan. Um, isang mommy tip na naman mga mommy squad is i-beat, i-break niyo yung egg niyo sa separate na lalagyan before dun sa mismong mixing, um, dun sa mismong mixing pan niyo para maiwasan niyo yung mga shell na napupunta. So, um, medyo nakakahiya. Siguro kung sa inyo lang yung cake, nice. Okay, maiintindihan siguro ng mga anak ninyo. Pero, um, sanitary na rin, guys. Um, iwasan natin magkaroon ng shell yung cake mix nyo. So, ako, binibreak ko siya sa separate. I'd rather wash uh, maraming dishes rather than rather than uh, nagkakaroon ng egg yung cake ko. So, egg shell yung cake ko. So, yan. Mix ko na yung milk and coffee mixture. And then, we will go on vanilla. So, 1 teaspoon ng vanilla. And that's it. Yun na yun mga besh. Tapos na siya. Ganun lang kadali. I don't need fluffy egg whites or the egg white mixture. This is a very easy, runny mixture. Okay, but it's worth Akala nyo nung una hindi siya mabibake And um, paunti-unti natin i-mix yung dry ingredients natin And then, nahalo na siya lahat, syempre. Ayan. silky na yung um, batter natin, yung cake batter natin. And ready na siya for bake. So, ininit ko na yung oven natin na around 180 degrees. Pero, bababaan natin siya once ipinasok na natin yung cake batter natin doon. Para hindi siya masunog. Okay? So, iligpit ko lang yung mga kalat. So, yun na yung mga kalat natin, no? And, kuha lang ako ng brush dahil lalagyan natin ng oil yung mga cake things natin para hindi mag-stick yung cake natin. Make sure na hindi nyo to kakalimutan mga mommy squads, okay? Kasi po, this is a very important part para hindi dumikit yung cake ninyo. Hindi natin siya masira. So, mommy tip number two, please don't forget na oil ang inyong cake tins. Yan ang pinaka-importante at hindi dapat makalimutan kung magbibake kayo because you don't want to ruin your cake. Okay. So, ilagay na natin yung cake butter natin. Makikita nyo kung gaano siya karani. But don't worry. Ganyan talaga yung consistency niya. I've been doing this for how many times already? And it turns out very, very, very perfect. So, makikita nyo siya later.
there you go. Another mommy tip number three, mga mommy squad, is to tap your cake to take off all the bubbles. We want a very smooth cake, and that's it. Yun na po yun, ilalagay na natin sa oven for 20 minutes. So, ganito na lang i-timer ninyo. Kasi ako 20 minutes, pero chine-check ko siya between 15 minutes to 20 minutes. And make sure, naluto na siya, hindi siya ma-overcook. But then, mag-timer muna kayo ng 15 minutes. Check it, at kung kulang pa, give another 5 minutes. Or as usual, iba-iba ang temperature ng ating mga oven. So, yun lang yung magiging suggestion ko. Uh, mug niyo muna siyang bubuksan at unless hindi nag-rise yung cake kasi magkakaroon kayo ng dome dun sa cake. So, you will check it if fully rise na yung cake and then i-check nyo siya around 15 minutes onwards to 20 minutes. And babalikan ko din kayo, ilagay lang natin siya sa oven, okay? So, babalikan ko kayo pag ready na yung mga cake. And then, palalamikin natin siya and then ready for ice na din siya. But for now, I will just clean the mess para ready siya for icing later. Yan guys, luto na siya. And palalamigin lang natin siya. So, total ng minutes is um 20 minutes. And um kung ipopoke nyo yung knife... Okay, it will come out clean and even the side, it will come out clean and makikita niyo yung sides niya, okay? Madali na siyang matanggal kasi naglagay na tayo ng oil. So, makikita niyo siya, madali na siya. Palamigin natin siya and then tuturuan ko kayo, bigyan ko ulit kayo ng mommy tip kung paano maghiwa ng cake. Ayan, hello, balik tayo. So, nag-cool down na yung cake. Makikita nyo na ready na siya kasi humiwalay na din siya sa pan. And then, madali nyo na siya. Madali na siyang tanggalin. So, what I usually do on this cake, different yung pagtatanggal ko sa different cakes, guys. At different din yung pag, um, pag mimake sure ko na hindi dumidikit yung cake sa pan. So, it's very different. Sa isang cake na ginagawa ko, uh, medyo maarte siya, nilalagyan ko siya ng um, flour after ng um, oil dahil talagang dumidikit siya. Yung iba, nilalagyan ko siya ng baking paper. So, it's very, very different on your cake. On this cake, I knew na um, dahil moy siya, um, I don't need too much. Ang kailangan ko lang is yung oil. Sorry guys, if you feel like iba yung boses ko, may sipon talaga ako. So, gaganunin ko lang siya. Pakakawalan ko lang siya sa kabila. Yan. And pag nakita ko nang nag-release na siya, flip it. And basically, that's the bottom of your cake. And then, lagay ko lang siya dito. And then, gawin natin yung kabila as well. Okay, there you go. And then, gawin ko lang din yun. Um, release lang guys um, huwag yung gaano ang kailangan yung bottom part release release and kailangan cold yung milk guys ha cold yung milk cold yung cake nyo as in talagang lumamig siya para um, nice yung pag aisin nyo dahil you will use cream on it so this one as well pero medyo may dumikit siya but you know it doesn't matter and um, hihiwain na natin yung cake another um, trick for you guys sa mga mom squad dyan, okay, another tip is to cut this um, cake into four slices sa akin kasi four, hindi maganda yung medyo makapal, so parang regular cake na siya, but pag black forest cake, you need a very thin cake and um, medyo makapal yung cream kaya yung cream, I just want it to be rich and not too sweet, yun yung gusto natin ma-achieve dun sa cream later so, hatiin natin siya. So, the key there is turn your cake. Slice. Huwag yung pakawalan yung knife ninyo. Turn your cake. Slice. And do the same hanggang sa maabot nyo yung kabilang slice. And you will have a very perfectly sliced cake. There you go. Turn your cake. So, I always do this on mine. Nandun na yung guide nyo sa gitna actually. Nung na-slice nyo siya. Nandun na siya. 
So, ang ginagawa nyo lang, kasi nandito yung pinaka-edge ng knife is, doon nyo lang kinakat sa side. And, um, to tell you honestly, it's very easy. I could flip the cake right away. So, ilagay ko lang siya sa bench. Ayok. Marinig yung bench namin. Lagi namin siyang dinidisinfect. But anyways, ayokong maging issue yan. <laughs> so, ilagay natin siya sa top ng sa top ng baking pan. And then, let's do the other one as well. There you go. And then, flip natin siya. So, maraming crumbs, besh. Don't worry. Makakover naman siya. So, do the same here. Pag nakita nyo na yung knife ninyo ay nasa gilid na, or nasa gilid, nasa gitna na, turn your cake. And then, turn, turn nyo lang yung cake. And turn lang as well. And it's gonna be perfect. I know it, it will take you a wee while para, para gawing um, gawin ito. Kahit ako, nung even dun sa cake, natatakot ako kasi baka um, anong tawag dito? Baka uh, masira ko yung cake. But anyways, ayun na nga. So like this, hindi naman ako perfect eh. You don't need to be perfect as well. So meron din akong See? Kasi nga, may natira dun sa bottom part. So, this is the manipis na part. So, you don't have to worry, guys. Mamaya tayo magkiklean up pagkatapos natin mag-ice. Kasi talagang it's gonna be messy. But it's not too messy, guys. And let's do the cream. So, four cakes na tayo ngayon. Dahil nahati na natin siya to each. And then, we'll go on our cream. I will use 500 grams first. Okay, pero I feel like gagamit pa ako ng half, another 7, 200 or 250. Yep. I feel like I need a little bit more. Kasi nung last time, it's 1 liter eh. Kaya lang nagsayang ako kasi it's, it's a bit much. So I think it's 2 liters already. I think that's fine. Actually, parang 800, 800 liters. Kanina pa ako liter. 800 ml. Okay. Turn on lang natin to. E ready nyo yung condense nyo sa side. Kasi ilalagay natin siya once everything is um, fluffy and nice. As you can see, 
Ito na yung consistency na hinahanap. Ipuin na natin, isalagyan na natin ng jam yung um, bottom ng cake. So, every cake level, um, may jam. natin for the cream. kompleto na. And then, kunin na lang natin yung natitirang cream music hour. And, eto na yung last. So, iubos ko na siya. Sa top lang siya, guys, ha. You don't need to put on the sides kasi yung layers ng cake and cream na yung magiging design niya. And, that is gonna be the best part. Hindi ko na rin siya nilagyan ng jam. Okay? Doon sa taas. Dahil makikita nyo anong ilalagay kong topping sa kanya. Later. I'm not very happy sa amount ng cream na nilagay ko. Parang feeling ko kulang. Kasi sa totoo lang, madami yung nilagay ko nung nakaraan na cream. So, but anyways, um, Para naman, hindi siya ganoon talaga karami. There you go. And we will get, okay, cherries on top. this time, para may curl yung chocolate flakes. There you go. Kasi ginamit ko lang yung um, grater nung nakaraan, and walang design yung chocolate flakes. But if you use grater, um, magkakaroon ng chocolate rose yung um, small chocolate bits and pieces ninyo. So, uh, pakita ko din siya ng close-up sa inyo. 
lang naman. So, hindi ko pa siya nilinisan, guys. Okay? But I want you to see. And, uh, makikita niyo yung chocolate flakes. Rose, actually. It's very nice. My touch, my special touch. Siya pag ginawa niyo yung sa my um, peeler. Hindi lang sa grater. Kasi sometimes sa grater ko siya ginagawa. And it takes me very easy. Takes me no time. But the peeler, it gives, it gives a little touch on it. So, there's your basic Okay, basic chocolate cake.